Hey guys, how's it going? Rich here with a review on the KDR-80BT. This is a pretty sweet deck so far. We threw it inside a Jeep, and uh, it's made by JVC. Now, just to go over a couple things with you. Um, as you can see here, face panel is actually quite nice. I'm going to pop open the door, see if we can get some more light in here for a sec. But yeah. As you can see, you know, the lighting and everything on the buttons, it's pretty sweet. Um, we're going to hit menu for a sec, and then I can show you some of our in menus. So as you can see, we have, there's so many different uh, colors on this, it's ridiculous. Like any new deck these days, um, you know, they usually have a bunch of different colors. you got your color, your color setup. You can switch the buttons from the screen kind of thing. And yeah, as you're going through this, uh, this is where you'll find your clock, and you'll do your software updates. Um, so let's get out of this. So, um, like usual, it comes with two rear-facing USBs, but one of them has to have their little Bluetooth module plugged in if you're using the Bluetooth. Um, and, uh, it's a iPhone compatible, Blackberry compatible, and Android, comp yeah, Android, iPhone, Apple stuff, everything's compatible. Um. Now my thing for you is is just like any other deck. Uh, they say that the, oh yeah they make it sound like the USB works with it, but no, it the USB will work with the iPhone, but it will not be working with the Android. I'll tell you what it does when you plug it in, it allows it to charge, which is sweet, right? But it still streams the music Bluetooth style, meaning. Um, uh, those Pioneer decks, even though they don't say that they're Android uh, playable for playback, this will do the exact same thing. Like, they'll do the exact same thing. They'll just Bluetooth stream, and this just has a fancy app you can click uh, that will also... If I were you, though, if you buy this deck, I wouldn't download the app. All I would do is use, you know, use the USB for charging if your phone's dead. Other than that, just Bluetooth... Uh, music stream just like any other deck because that's all you'll do with this what's cool though is it you know with you know newer pioneers double dins and whatnot they all have mirror links so if you plug it in you know it's worth plugging it in if you have an iphone though i think the only one that'll actually plug into the uh android is that app radio by pioneer anyways we're reviewing this one um the equalizer is all right um you of course have user eq and then you can go through and switch it up um, and yeah, it's just, this is, you know, it's not the best. It literally, you just go through and select what you want. Let's see if we got some stuff here. I can switch for you. I was trying to play with the, see, it's, uh, all right. You can choose your subwoofer and stuff like that. And then, uh, you use these to go up and down treble. You just play with it, you know, get used to it. Um, so far, deck quality, been great because it has the MOSFET amp. Um, Pioneer and JVC both use the MOSFET amps, and they're great. Um, the Bluetooth function of this is really good, too. It's very clear. They've really come a long way with their mics. I remember the first JVC mics were really, really bad. But, uh, yeah, it's really, really simple. All you're going to do is... Uh, when you get your phone, just to show you, we have a, I have a Galaxy Nexus here. So as you can see here, um, as you can see there, we're currently connected. So let's go change a song. Let's go. There we go. No, this is contacts. Music list. And even if we click right here, we'll click one of these. It'll click here. And as you can see on here, it's now selected. So that's kind of how the Bluetooth streaming works. It uses the Bluetooth of your phone. And it's super quick. Um, I have noticed actually a little bit of lag when, the, uh, when you start up your car. That it can take up to 20 seconds for this thing to connect to your phone. So not that you really have to worry. I'm just saying that, uh, you know my Pioneer syncs up within two seconds compared to this. Once again, for the price, you can't really, you know, knock on it. It's a cheaper deck. I think we got it on Boxing Day for about 100 bucks.
it's a pretty uh, pretty good deal and the deck does you know everything but yeah the bluetooth's good um they could work on uh they could work on the fact that it's a separate thing literally all pioneer decks have it built in now they should really look at getting just the module built in the other thing uh they could uh work on would be uh I would have to go with, oh, their equalizer. Um, their equalizer is all right, but for someone like me, I like to have, you know, a seven band equalizer. I like to ha be able to adjust everything, you know. Um, this, you can't do that. It's got some more right adjustments, but nothing too well. Uh, the colors are awesome. The actual look of the deck and faceplate, it's really, really nice. Um, I like how they've, you know, kind of made everything flat. And there's no, you know, it's all in all a good deck. They have the Bluetooth uh, phone piece right here, so you're gonna you don't have to worry about trying to find it in the dark or anything. But yeah, other than that, uh, if you have any questions about this head unit, feel free to uh, post in the comment section below. Like and subscribe. Thanks again.